Hello everyone, after 3 years, I finally had time to update this automated class and teacher scheduler that I developed over 5 years ago. This is the current version. So this is the home page. On the left, you will see the 4 steps to schedule our school so we can produce the needed timetables, which we commonly call class programs. After completing the steps, we can finally print the timetables which can be accessed by clicking the icons on the right. This tool has a unique feature of automating the generation of vacant substitute teachers which is a nice feature for preventing class disruptions caused by teacher absences. Currently, there is a study about using this tool as a novel approach to preventing class disruptions in the Philippines DepEd Region 11. I need 400 respondents to pilot test this tool in their schools. I know this will also be very helpful to them in speeding up the generation of their class schedules or timetables. Because timetabling is not an easy task especially for beginners. So if you are outside the Davao region, you may also want to fill out the user registration form that I put in the description. I will find time to create a version fitting to your school. So let's review what's inside the Automated Class and Teacher Scheduler or ACTS. Firstly, we need to input all the subjects and students sections or classes in your school. So these are the subject codes that we need. You need to input all the subjects that you need to schedule. So these columns here are optional, but these three here are very important. Uh, the minutes per period, the number of meetings per week, and of course the number of classes or sections. Now here in the rightmost part, we need to input the section. I recommend putting the grade level already to easily determine the section what grade it is now let's go back to the home page after inputting the subjects and sections we input the teachers here the details of the teachers the details of the school and the signatories of the class program or the timetable let's go back to the home page the third step is to distribute the teaching loads so for example, uh, Sharon, Mom Sharon has 4 Filipino 9, so that's her load, 4 Filipino 9. She has AP 7, Araling Panlipunan 7, and Sign 7. And she's also teaching Homeroom Guidance Program as an advisor. So also, the rest of the teachers, you're gonna input their ancillary tasks and their subjects. We will use it later in plotting, which is the fourth step. So here, we plot the schedules. The time here can be edited. For example, if you want to input your class starts from 7 a.m. So you can change it to 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. And it will automatically also change in the uh, class timetable. So let's go back to the plot. Let's just undo what we did. So here in the plot schedule, this is still manual timetabling. I have done my part on researching what's available open source uh, automatic timetabling. But because of the constraints, the preferences of our teachers, our learners, our sections, special sections in depth ed, uh, it's really hard to solve specific timetabling problems. So the best thing to do is to do it manually. Anyway, if you are really making timetables, it's not really very difficult for you to plot. The most important thing is that after you plot, all these teachers and their subjects appear on the timetables. So let's go back. Uh, what's What we did here, these drop-down menus are automated. So for example, um, Janice Barba here is already plotted at Friendship on Monday 7.30 to 8.30 so if you plot to the next section let's just delete this as you can see in the drop down there is no more Janice Barba here Stella Mary Jane is there because we deleted her as you can see only the subject that she teaches appear on the drop down for the subject so if we remove Janice Barba for example in here if we plot She's available already, so her name reappear on the drop-down menu. So that's one feature of 
the tool that we made to easily input them without having conflicts. Now, for example, if you copy paste to easily input, there's also a feature that will detect that there is a conflict in the timetable. So all you need to do is to visit it and correct it so that the conflict will be gone. Again, this is manual timetabling but we put some features for it. Anyway, you will only make this once or twice a year. And then for the next year, maybe, you only need to change the school year or change the name of the teachers. So it will be easier for the next year of utilizing this tool. So again, these are the four steps that we need to make after it we are ready to print the timetables so for the teacher timetable so here's all of this data here are automatically generated based on what we input for example if we go back to Mary Jane these are her subjects and we go back to the home page and we click this teacher substitute you can see here that the vacant teachers were already identified to substitute Mom Janice Barba in case she will be absent from the class. Anyway, um, I will upload more tutorials about using this tool and maybe I will invite from among those who fill out our user registration form to demonstrate and maybe we're going have to have a live session on how to schedule so that I may assist you because every school is unique so every problem timetabling problem is also unique and we already piloted this in our schools division for some schools and so far most of the constraints most of the uh, timetabling problems we already solved so that's it for this video I will post an update next time thank you